Hello and welcome to episode 8 of my Two Worlds tutorial Let's Play series. This episode is going to be on travelling to Broomhill, but first I've got a little excursion with a grizzly bear. And let's see if we can defeat it. Now they are tough, so we're hoping that we can. Remember the Q key to jump back exactly one step, just as he goes to pounce on me. And because he's such a big slow creature, he's perfect for fighting. One hit though and he'll probably kill me. How did I miss? Must be the hill. And there we go. And that's good experience as well. As, <coughs> as well as getting an item. And another potion item. Let's have a look. So it's all good when it comes to fighting bears and grizzlies. Okay, so we're heading towards Brumhill. I'm not sure if we're going to make it. We'll see. I'm not trying to rush through uh, two worlds because it's far too fantastic a game. Totally enjoyable. And if I can do some hunting on the way, I sure will. It's all about getting money. Oh, Old Smuggler's Cave. Well, there's a location for us to visit. But before I go there, I will travel around the area to see if there's any quests there. Let's grab that. Let's see. Okay, let's continue on. You see in the mini map top right corner all the dark areas so you can see I've not been here before and I will be exploring them areas at some point. Ah, there's a wolf. Here we go, wolf time. So this is what I intend to do, fight everything I can along the way. Oh, they're out. I hope now I can get him. Yep, yeah, there we go. Stop still. No, missed. Okay, we'll have to come at this from a different angle. Oh, where's that Boltus? Yeah, it's not good though with that boulder being in the way. Got him. Where's his mates? Oh, okay. Strange. Normally they all attack. Oh. Is he coming for? Yeah, he is coming. Here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> You just gotta love that laugh because it's half malicide, not crazy, and and half a laugh. <laughs> I love it when he does his laugh. It is a really crazy laugh, but then that matches up perfectly with me. Okay, so that's all the wolves dealt with. Strange that they didn't all come after me. Oh well, never mind. Okay, let's carry on our way. Hopefully we'll gain a level from all of these fighting... Oh, silver wolves now. So let's see if we can do them. They are tougher. Make no odds about that. That's what I wanted. Perfect. I love it. 
There you go. That leaves just one, which will be a piece of cake. Let's have a look. Okay, let's go take out this last silver wolf. And it's nearly dead. So one hit should suffice. Oh, here he comes for me. Let's see. Okay. Oh, it's more wolves. Where are these wolves? I can see them in the trap. Oh, right next to me. Oops. Uh, <clears throat> well, I've messed that up a bit because they. Uh, how many are there? This far too many for me to try and combat, I believe. But we will try. Oops. Ah, oh, perfect. Die quickly. Yes, preferably you will be quick. There are a lot of wolves up here. So you see, this is why you simply can't run to Broomhill, because you will be slaughtered. You will have tons of creatures on the top of you. All with the same intention, to end your miserable life. He got away. Yeah, and they're silver wolves, so they are tough. Okay, let's run them around a bit because far too many to handle at once. Okay, so that's how you narrow them down, break them up. Don't stand there and try and fight them all, because it's going to get ugly. Okay, let's... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's cast a heal. Always keep your health at full. Okay, let's see if we can get another wolf. There we go. There once was a pack of wolves, and now there is not. There was about, I don't know how many of them there were, but there were a load. I've got a feeling though, there must be one or two more around here, because I did see, it looked like about nine, and I haven't killed that many. Oh, holy. Okay, here's a little encampment, and up here, is another teleport. So there we go. We've activated that. So we'll be able to fast travel back to here in the future. Cool. Now we can get some more quests in this little military camp. So that's cool. The Rusty Ogre Lodge and a new shrine. So let's go introduce ourselves to the people in here and grab some more quests. I want to gather up loads of quests so we can start doing them over some of the episodes. Remember that's what it looks like when you get a quest NPC, a green sort of arrow pointing to you. So let's have a chat. <clears throat> Welcome stranger, do you seek employment? That yes. would depend on the work involved. Those little swine have crossed the border and are in our mine. I want them kicked back to their own territory. What little swine? Do you mean the Groms? 
Make dwarves. For five years now, we have had peace and quiet because they have stayed on their side of the border. But they are back. And they hang any human they catch on their lands. Ooh, that's not nice. Now they try to expand their territories. But they have already taken over an old mine nearby. I swear, I shall stop them. And that is why I need strong men, soldiers. This sounds like an army to me. I have no interest in this matter. Oh, I do. Nay, I also need some skilled mercenaries for some other tasks. We aim to kill one of their commanders who will visit the mines soon. This is something I can do. Pray give me the details of this task. The mine is northwest of here. It is heavily guarded, so you must try to sneak in. Do not meddle with my methods. Where is their commander? That's right. He is somewhere inside the mine. I will give you 300 in gold for materials now, and 700 when he is dead. Nice. Do you know why the dwarves have chosen to cross the border at this time? Who am I to know how their twisted minds work? He's got a funny voice, this one. Why would the Brotherhood guard a border then? That is not your affair. Alright, fair enough. Farewell. Farewell. Farewell to thee. Okay, there we go. There's another quest. Very cool. We're going to get loads of quests that we can do. Welcome. I am Holy. I know are you are. Are you one of the Alfron mercenaries, perchance? I am a mercenary, but I belong to no Alfron. Oh, do not misunderstand me, stranger. Alfron is the Brotherhood man for this region. He hires mercenaries to send to the Orna mine. Why? He hates dwarves. And now that they are in the Orna mine, he believes they will attack us. Why does he not take Brotherhood warriors, then? He did, but he lost a patrol in the mine. His superiors forbade him to use the Brotherhood for this task. So now he uses mercenaries. What do you want of me? My brother was lost in that patrol. I hope he's still alive somewhere in the mine. If you find him, I will be very grateful. Do not fear, I will find your brother, or what's left of him. In truth? Ah, uh, you're a stout fellow. I will wait for you here. Do you know anything about this mine? Nay, not much. Tis a dwarven mine that has not been used for many years. Mayhap Alfron knows more. Ask him. So it's a dwarven mine that they built, and this other guy's saying that they're trespassing, uh, expanding their territories, when all along it's their mine in the first place. But who am I? It's but a simple mercenary who does anything for money. <clears throat> I am not permitted to speak of this. No, I shouldn't think you are. What is your purpose here? I am Brotherhood. My lips are sealed to all such questions. Fair enough. Well, by doing this quest, I will get good faction with the Brotherhood. Farewell. So, farewell. So there we go. There's another quest. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, and here's another quest. Do you seek me? Did Hargrast send you? He was right. I could not do it. You mistake me for someone else. What is your problem? Problem? Nay, I... He was right. I am not strong enough inside to become a mercenary. But you say you are not one of his men? Nay, I am not. But what is that you tell me? You wish to become a mercenary? Very few people find that trade attractive, believe me. Perchance. But I needed to do something, anything. My father always said we must bend our backs and look to the soil, because the soil is all we know and all that we need. So I moved to Talmud, as far from my father as possible. I thought I would start a new life. Completely different from what I had back home. And can you guess what happened? Not good. Nothing sounds of it. <clears throat> Nothing. Only the soil is less fertile, and I must bend my back even more. Who told you that the life of a mercenary was what you needed? 
Hagras arrived here a few months ago with his men. You must have seen them. Tough warriors, proud. They bow to no one. I thought it was my own chance. I was sure they would laugh oh. at me, or even worse. But I had to try. Do you know what they did? They gave you a test. If you passed it, you were in. Most companies and wandering bands do this to newcomers. You see this? Tis a key. Hargrast gave it to me on that day. He said he would send someone to check if I had used it. I have not used it. What is it for? Hargrast said he found an active dwarven vortex in the ancient temple west of here. This key opens the gate to it. I just had to go there and use it. Sounds easy, does it not? Yeah. yeah. The reputation of that temple is known to me. I am not surprised you did not use the key. If you cannot give up when you should, you will make a good, dead mercenary. I. It took me a while before I came to terms with that. And the soil. But when I saw you, you know how it can be to abandon your dreams. Anyway, my thanks for lending me your ear. I had to get all that off my chest. If you wish, you may keep the key. Hagrest said it is a great value. Ah, if it really is a Dwarven Vortex, and not something else. I heard there were hardly any in the Dwarven Kingdom. Strange that they would leave one of them behind to be found. Dwarven magic? Nay, not magic, but some kind of essence that flows through the mountains. The Dwarves used to bring their newborn to such places to give them strength and awaken their inborn talents. I knew it was magic. If it is true what they say, then it has the power to awake the dormant powers in your body. The effect lasts your whole life long, but it cannot be taken back, and it can be done only once. Cool. I'm glad I did not use that key. It sounds very dangerous. No, it's very good. It must fact. be protected somehow. I doubt that the dwarves would leave their sacred place guarded only by a small key. Methinks I shall try it, if you do not object. The key was given to me. Now I have given it to you. I do not want it. It reminds me of my weakness. Farewell. Farewell. He, told, he spoke funny as well. So, methinks that was very cool because not only will that give us some boost to one of our stats, we'll no doubt find some nice treasure there. But, of course, we will also find something very nasty guarding it. Anyway, the time has gone. Uh, in the next episode, I shall continue roaming this camp to see if there's any more quests for us to grab. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.